All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today is round six, Fuji International Speedway. I have never driven on this track. Ah, I lied. I've never drifted on this track in real life. I did drive on this track in game just to test a couple of them. I didn't drift though, but I wanted to see which one like looked the best and had the best elevation and stuff like that. So this is the best one I could find. Unfortunately, it does not have any clipping points or zones. So we're gonna do our best to kind of spot them and kind of memorize where they are. Well, let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys the track map. Uh, or do, uh, Let's get started, I'm gonna show you guys a little track walk and then try to set down some good qualifying laps and then we'll join the online lobby and get some tandems. Let's do this, last round. This is the fastest track. So, unfortunately on this one too, the pits are like, because it, was de it wasn't designed for the drift, um, the pits are like way, way far away. Okay, so judging from the track map and kind of watching online a little bit, as, as best as I could tell, it looks like this is gonna be a good spot to start. So that'll be our starting line. There's no 3-2-1 cones, obviously. Um, I think we're gonna call, this stuff may adjust as I start trying to do some qualifying laps and see how it works out, but I was thinking that those guys over there with that yellow right there, that would be like the last point where we wanna enter. Basically a rolling enter. It's not really even a clutch kick or anything like that, you just kind of like let the car lose grip and it's super low angle. If you watch on live stream, it's kind of odd. So there's no clipping points or zones, that's where you enter, you kind of enter mid-track. Somewhere around here is gonna be outer zone one, so I think we're gonna call it the start of that like whip, whatever that flag is right there. That'll be a start of outer zone one, and then the end of outer zone one will be like where the rumble strips start, this little corner. And then you come flying down here. This track is so freaking fast, I can't even believe it. So outer zone two is gonna be, we're gonna start with it where these homies are right there and then end it kind of right where the rumble strips tur start turning. So kind of where that stripe is on the ground. And then you got an inner clip, which again, it's kind of hard to tell, but I think it's like right here. There's a bit of a point on the rumble strip right where I'm sitting. I think that's gonna be the inner clip. And then one last outer zone. We're gonna start it again where these homies are. This might be a little far up, but that's where it looks like on track. And then to kinda somewhere in this area, you know, kinda right before the rumble strips end there. And then finish line is just kinda, you know, here or like around this area. <laughs> yeah, that's basically a track. It looks outrageously fast. All right, well, wish me luck, pray for me. Do this. Oh, too wide, too wide. I'm just gonna finish it out. No, I'm not. Uh, who am I kidding? All right, let's do it again. Okay, I know I messed up there, but that one felt closer. I think the outer zone is a little bit further up and then you kind of wrap it around. I'm gonna outer zone a little bit sooner, almost end where that box is and start, you know, yeah, like I was kind of more towards where this, that wacko, whatever that thing is. Side note, I have no idea how we're gonna make tires last in the R32 on this. <laughs> this track is so fast, the wheel speed is gonna be insane. Okay, that's, I think that's closer. I think that's closer. We're getting there. Let's join the lobby up. Um, again, obviously it's hard without clipping points and zones, but it's still good practice to kind of figure the course out and at least I know what it's gonna look like before I go there in real life. But let's join the lobby, freaking see what those guys are up to and get some tandems. All right, so now we're in the online lobby. I had limited it to like eight people because last time we had like 30 and my video stopped recording because it was like too much data. 
All right, we'll follow that sport in. Nice, nice, nice. That is freaking so crazy following somebody. That was the first time I followed somebody, it was was that lap, and like, there's so much freaking smoke in your face. All right, I'm ready when you are. Oh gosh, I messed up. That was a good lead run. I, I messed up big time. That looked pretty good though. This track is not like, you, you guys gotta understand, like this track is not actually that hard. What's making it pretty tricky is have no having no visual cues, you know? But I, I still think it's definitely good practice. And I'm definitely getting a feeling for like the speed that's needed throughout the course. If the zones and clips are a little bit different in real life, that's okay. But I definitely have a feeling now of like, the speed I need. I know also I've learned, again, this is another track where I absolutely have to be on their bump. But this is another one where it's like, I think even if you have a little bit faster car, it's gonna be hard to catch up just because it's like a low angle, super high speed turn. And you won't catch up to like that very last corner. Oh no! God, I was just nowhere close. All right, well that's Fuji. I, uh, I definitely need some more practice on this track. Definitely with like clipping points and zones. But overall, I honestly feel pretty good. Like, I feel like I understand the speed that's needed and kind of somewhat where the zones and clipping points are. And chasing is super fun. I definitely don't think it's hard. I just think it's one of those things where when we have a chicane and we're starting together and we both know exactly where we're gonna outer zone, that's gonna lead to better chases, right? Because you need a consistent lead run that you can basically anticipate where he's gonna end up that's how you get a good chase run. So anyways, I'm feeling pretty good. We got through all six rounds. Now we gotta do them all in the rain. So stay tuned because next week we're doing Suzuka Twin in the rain. And then we're gonna go back through the whole season in the rain. So let's freaking do this. Check out our merch, hogganracing.com. I got our Drift Love t-shirt on right now. And we'll see you guys in a couple days. Peace.